Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming to you from Beckley's Campus Center. And boy, am I excited today to bring you the all new, this is the 2020 Revel. This is a 44E by Winnebago. It is quite the coach. And for those of you that are looking to get off-road, this is the, a great gear hauler. And what I mean by that, I'm gonna be able to explain it to you as we're going through it. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you do ask for Paul the Air Force guy. Also, if you wanna look at a bunch of other Class B motorhomes, there is a guy out there, Ultra Mobility. Look him up, I've got his link right here. Take a look him up. He does, he actually has a Class B motorhome and he talks about all different brands of Class B motorhomes. Great source for information, but let's get on to this Rebel. So now this Rebel is on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis. It is a four by four. I know some people out there are calling this thing an all wheel drive. It is an actual four by four, as you can see. And I'm gonna get into that in a little bit when we get inside. Now on this particular one here, you can see that you have the hitch receiver on the back. You're able to tow up to 5,000 pounds with this. Then you have the ladder, and let me show you the roof because they've actually made some changes on the roof on this. So as you can see on the roof, it's filled up. Really not a lot of room, but now the nice thing is this rack that they have on here, it's all metal. No more plastic for the attachments so things aren't coming off. Uh, with the solar panels, they're down low enough where you're still able to mount something on top of uh, your rack here, and this ladder can be moved around to the side if necessary. Now one thing you're gonna notice on the roof rack as well is that it has uh, the ability for you to add things to it and you slide it in the rail on either side. You're gonna notice up in the front, they went ahead and put a wind diverter for that roof rack because that was causing some issues and that has solved the problem that it was having with the wind going up under through, through that roof rack area and the, your solar panels and so forth. Now also on the back right here, they've added this tube for you to go ahead and put your sewer hose. That makes it nice and convenient since you don't have a bumper. Now one thing you're gonna notice on the front and back bumpers are these sensors that go all the way across. And I'll show you when I get inside how that correlates to your camera system. So now the cool thing on this off-door side is the fact they have this light here. So that way there, if you're out, out and about and it's dark out, you need to hook up or you just, you know, want to have some lighting around your coach, you can have some. So for those of you that are at campground, you're plugging into electric, you can con connect your city hose here or your water hose there. So you have the water coming directly from your water spigot. For those of you boondocking, then you have a, a freshwater tank that you fill on the other side. Let me show you where that is. So when you open up the uh, center door here, this is where you have your uh, freshwater tank fill right here. You also have your freshwater tank drains. This is where you're gonna winterize and so forth. All conveniently located right on the door side here. Now this coach is gonna have three AGM batteries and they're gonna be located right up underneath here. This is gonna be for your coach. This is on the, uh, right, right in front of the uh, rear axle. And as you can see, I'm just gonna pan, let you look underneath here. Coach battery is gonna be up front, but notice the clearance. So now this is where you're gonna dump your gray tank, right here. Your porta potty is gonna be, you're gonna be able to open this door and it's just a pull out cassette toilet that you're able to go ahead and roll that away to be able to empty that. Now this is a true four season camper and the reason for that is they have a hydronic heating uh, system located right here and that's actually, you can see the exhaust right here for it and that is actually gonna be heating your coach, takes care of your water heater, as well as heating the tanks and keeping them from freezing. Now they're using the KO2 uh, BF Goodrich tires for this. This is an upgrade. The benefit of that, you can run them on lower pressure when you're off-roading 
and that gives you better traction. And the other thing is too is when you're driving on the on the highway, you're not going to have that road noise like you do on some of the other tires. You're going to notice with this here is that it's wider, but also it has lights on either end. And then of course, in case you need to tie something down, you have this the hooks right on both ends. And that makes it very easy for you to, uh, if you want to secure, maybe you have your dog with you, maybe you want to uh, secure something to your coach, you know, your bikes, bicycles or whatever, you could do that. Just like on the back bumper, you're going to notice on the front here that you have sensors. And again, I'll show you what that does for you. The cool thing about also the lights, so these are your fog lights. The nice thing with those is that those turn as you're turning to give you a better feel for the road, you're able to see things in the dark. And these headlights are quite impressive as well. Hard for me to show you this uh, with it being as, as bright as out here today, but uh, it, if you check on the Mercedes-Benz website, uh, you will be able to see the type of lighting system that this 2019 uh, model year for the uh, chassis, what it brings to the table. Now you can see you have a nice large awning here. So this awning comes out seven feet from the coach. Now I know some people are telling you this thing has a wind sensor on it. It does not. It is a seismic sensor. And what it'll do is it'll recognize motion. So you may be walking in and out of the coach there and that could actually sense motion from that, from it shaking and it might retract. So it's, it's a seismic sensor motion not wind that will retract that okay so now i want to talk to you about a wow factor with this and by the way show me your favorite wow g uh gif your gif or wow face put that down below in the comments for this but this has the power door now you have four different ways actually five different ways that you can open or close this door. One is going to be your remote. Two is the handle. If I just pull on the handle or push on the button on the inside, there's also a button right inside the door. And then you have a button at the dash. So you have many ways to do this, but this is wow. Just push the button and the door is going to open for you. No more when you're coming out, you're carrying gear. You don't have to go ahead and put the gear down to open it. You just push the button or you just pull the handle and it will go ahead and close or open accordingly. So that is a wow for me anyway. So since we're talking about wows, let me show you another wow feature with this particular new 2020 Revel. Let me show you this. This is dealing with your uh, screen that you have here, your privacy screen. So as you can see, it rolls up out of the way. And to go ahead and get that set, you're just going to go ahead and disconnect here and you just zip it down on both sides. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, where's the wow with this? Well, the wow is this. You want to go in and out. You don't have to unzip it like the others. It has a little magnetic strip. And as you come in and out, it goes right back and door in, in, in place. The cool thing with that is if you have a dog, man, maybe you might not want it with the dog, but if you had a dog, makes it easy for the dog to be coming out and going in, kind of like a doggy door. So that's another wow. Show me your best wow face down below in the comments. So something else they've improved upon from last year is the table on the outside. Now I was not privy, we haven't seen it, we didn't see the older models, but what you're gonna to wanna to do in order to put this leg on there, you wanna extend this piece here, as you can see, and that's gonna go in, there's a little hole right here. You wanna get that in past it, and then you're going to tighten it, and it'll tighten nice and snug. There's a little rubber piece on the bottom. Then you're just going to go ahead and unlatch it, and there you have it. Nice little table for outside. So as you can see, the table's at a quite a nice height, and then just to put it back up, you're just going to lift it up, and these snaps just go in place. Let me show you what, what, what we did here to put it on there. So you can see the little hole that that piece goes in, you just put that little piece right in there and then it screws tight. Now versus last year what they've done is they've made your step here a little bit shorter and what that did was that gave room for your exhaust to go ahead and be brought up a little bit higher giving you a little bit more ground clearance as you can see. 
There's something else you're gonna like about the seats in the Revel is that they're actually lever, uh, leather now. And instead of having this, the, to turn it around, it's in the back, it's up in the front now. She's gonna pull this lever up in the front. Uh, they have one for moving it forward and back, the other one is to spin it. And then you, you can see how you have the extension for your legs, so if you wanna bring it out further, or you could push it back if you have a little bit shorter legs. Otherwise, this seat works pretty much the same as last year. Now, another thing with the seat, you're gonna notice that for the driver's seat, you're able to move back further than it was last year, but you're gonna notice a smart, smart wheel. With this, you're gonna have lane keep assist. You're gonna have, if, you, if you're drowsy when you're sleeping, it's gonna sense that. It's gonna go ahead and notify you on that. Uh, blind spot monitoring. It's gonna help with braking in the event that uh, someone's braking up front has a high beam assist as well. All lots of, lots of cool things it has on here. You also have where you can turn your, your, um, where you can turn your four wheel drive on here, and then you can turn, put it on low. To put it on low, you just go ahead and push this here and go into your load range. That's like if you're going up hills and so forth, you need to get up hills. So it is a four wheel drive. Otherwise, you're using it's a two by four if you don't have it engaged. So this is going to be where you're going to go ahead and be, be able to connect your phone, your navigation. If you want to go ahead and have navigation, come back to home. You've got your radio, media, you can information if you want on fuel mileage and so forth. Mercedes Pro, this actually has, um, as you can see, it wants to go ahead and know how I can help them. So it has IA. So if you say Mercedes, it's going to go ahead and ask you a question and it can help you out. And then of course you can go into settings, a lot of different things you can set with this. Now the cool thing is, is that when you're driving, so you see when you put it in reverse, you're able to see all around you. Now you can see it's gonna tell you when you get close to something and you can see it inside that as well. And if you're moving forward, it's going to be doing the same thing in the front so it has sensors and it'll show you when people are or something is in or close to the uh, bumpers and so forth so another cool thing about this backup um, camera is that as you turn it notice how the yellow area turns for you so it's turning whichever way you go, and you're able to see where you're going. But notice how the yellow area is marking what, what and if there's anything in that particular area. It's checking for that. As you go to turn back forward, you'll see it'll go ahead and looking in the front area as well. So another benefit of having this type of a monitor is it's not just a rear camera or reverse camera. This is a rear observation camera. So you can see how far behind we can see so that from a traffic standpoint, you can see what's coming up on you. And you have this area plus your mirrors. You're also gonna notice for your heat and your air conditioning and everything, everything is much more user friendly. This is going to be for your temperature, controlling your temperature, your fan speed. If you want to put your hazard lights on, your defroster, circulating the air, rear defroster. This is where you're going to be directing the air, whether it's coming out here, or the floor, and so forth. Much, much nicer setup here. And then right down here, this is where you can open up your uh, center door there. As you can see, this thing has 1,669 pounds of cargo carrying capacity, which is a lot for this size of a unit. So now as you come in the door here, you've got a multiple uh, multiple switches right here. Let me explain what they are. This turns on the door side light. This part here, this will turn on your awning light, on or off. This moves your awning in and out your battery disconnect for the coach batteries. Then this turns your lights on or off that are on the running board. And then right down here, that is the manual fill for your fresh water tank. I showed you where you can 
fill it with the hose on the outside there, but that is the manual fill for your fresh water tank. Now something else you have up on the dash here, you have two cup holders over here on the driver's side as well as the passenger side. But then in the middle, which is really cool, you see how that pulls up? This has a charging station for your phone. You just lay it here, and if your phone is equipped to charge that way, you can. And of course, you can see how you can plug your phone in so you can have that from a media standpoint on your system. You're also gonna notice that you have a 12 volt connection up here. So you can put things in there, close the lid, and forget it. Now as you can see, the seats can turn around for you, and you have, it makes it much easier now. Now one thing some people might not be aware of is that you, know, you have your parking brake on there, and you're saying, well, how can I turn my seat around? Well, it's very easy. What you're going to do is you don't, you're not shutting the brake, uh, parking brake off. What you're doing is you're just pulling that down or pushing that down. Now the seat will turn around. You'll be able to notice if you're looking in on your dash that the parking, uh, your parking brake light is still on. You will actually need to lift this thing up, pull up with some pressure, and now it is released. And if you need to double check, you double check by looking on your dash. So, now with the Revel, you have four different seat belts. You have two in the front, you have two seat, two seat belts here. But you got this little table here. The cool thing with it, it has a little indentation over here and it's magnetically held and you're able to put this over like this, make it in a much larger table. So that way there, you have, the, you have your driver's seat, you have this seat here, and you have a seat here as well. Makes it really cool. And as you can see, it just magnetically those are that did hits this seat belt a little bit, but you can always tuck that back over there if need be. So that's this little table. Now something you're gonna notice pretty much everywhere in the coach is you're gonna see this little contraption here. And these are actually set up, and I'll put the name of what this is. It slips my mind right now, but you're able to get different things to lock in place here to hold your phone, your iPad things of that nature. So you have one here in the bed area, as you can see, and it has different levels you can set it on. You have one up underneath the kitchen sink. So if you're cooking and you want to have the, you know, your phone hanging out here, you can do that, be able to read the recipe. You're going to notice you have it. This is a handle as you're coming in the door, but it's also doubles as a place that you can put things for maybe when you're sitting here in the, in the passenger seat. And you also have one here by this table, which is right behind the, the driver's seat. And then you have one up on bottom of this cabinet. So they're everywhere. And that way there, while you're on the move, you're able to bring your stuff with you. So now let's say you didn't want this table up. Or you want to make this thing a bed up front here. Well, you're able to go ahead and fold this down. As you can see underneath here, you just have a little one on either side that you need to go ahead and push both sides at the same time and then it'll collapse right down in the back there. So you see it's nice and neatly put away. Now you're going to notice you have little straps. You have the strap that's right here that comes across if you want to strap and keep that locked in place there. That's a little security. Also if you want to lock things down on the floor here you can see you have a little D-ring down the bottom right here. You're going to have one on this corner and you're also going to have, that's behind the driver's seat, you're also going to have one behind the passenger seat as well. Now for your kitchen counter, you have a counter extension if you wanted to, but this also doubles as the leg to make this thing the bed. All you're going to do is you're going to unlock it right here. It unlocks, this will come out, folds right down, and now that is part of your base. Now the next thing you need to do, let me show you that. So now you want to make this a bed. So you're going to take the back off and you're going to have a snap on both sides, one on this side, one on the other side. This is going to come out of here. Now the next thing you're going to need to do, because this is going to be coming across here, you have to take your seat here and you can drop the seat belts down in that hole there, but you need to spin it around and as you can see the reason why is it has this lip here. Because now when I go ahead and put this down in place, now I have some leverage on it. Something to leverage it on. So you guys gotta make sure you get it put in place right. 
and now this gives you a bed. Now this bed is 70 inches across. In the shorter spot, it's only 20 inches, but you get a little bit more room on this side. It's gonna be a little tight, but again, a little bit better than sleeping on the ground. Now, in the event you wanna know where you're gonna put the seat belts to make it easier for you to get them back out, you see they have the little slots for you. You can just drop them down in there and then just set the cushions right up on top. That way there, you, you don't have them digging into the bottom of the cushion and creating rips and tears and so forth. Kind of give you an idea how much room you have in here. And of course, that does have, you have an AC in here that is an option that you could get. And that is with the bed in the up position and with the rear screen and the uh, privacy curtain down. Now for your kitchen, and you're gonna notice this for all your drawers and also the cabinets, you do have the little thing that you need to unlock just like in a boat. And you can see you have a pretty good sized drawers here for your kitchen. You have three of those. One 10 outlet on either side of the counter. Of course, this is gonna be your sink here. Folds down out of the way when you're not using it. And of course, it folds up and so forth when you do want to use it. Now you also have a true induction type cooktop. The nice thing with this, if you have it on and you put your hand across it and it's on, it is not gonna go ahead and burn you. And you need to get special cookware in order to cook with that as well. Storage up above your cooktop here and your sink. You have additional storage up above your little sofa here. As well as another change that they made this year is they put this aluminum tray right there, metal tray, making it nice and strong. And I'm, I'm sorry, I don't feel that that's aluminum. It feels actually like it's steel. But that gives you nice storage up above and you can see now you have last year they didn't have that there so it gives you a little bit of extra storage now you also have a 2.5 cubic foot um, nova cool refrigerator this is a compressor driven refrigerator only going to take about an hour two hours maybe max for it to cool down and you're also going to notice that it has a little uh, freezer in it as well now earlier i showed you the um, screen at your entrance door up there. You're also gonna have the same thing back here. But the cool thing is, and with these doors you don't have, you notice how they open up. You don't have to worry about unlatching them to push them to the side. They just automatically do that. So it's a little bit different hinge system for the doors. They open nice and wide. Difference with this screen is you actually have a privacy curtain on the inside, so if you're camping and you want to have privacy around the bed area, you can. And this is the same system that you have on the other side, so if you need to reach in to get something, just grab it and it'll come right back. Now the cool thing is, the way this thing was built or made, when you're going to put the screen away, of course I'm going to need to get inside, I'm a little height deprived. But what they've done here is they put like a little foam, little round thing like you would have for a pool, but a little bit smaller on the inside here to make it easier. So when you roll it up, you can go ahead and put it away easier. Now the way they have this set up, you can go ahead and just take it up a little bit away and you can put it here if you wanted to, or you can take it all the way up. And so there you have it, now it's all the way up. Okay, so we talked about this being a gear hauler. You can see all the space that you have in here to carry your gear. You also have these little tie downs, and it's really a pretty ingenious way of putting them together. All you gotta do is put it right in, they have uh, six different spots in here for you to go ahead and put them in place, and you can tie your gear down so it's not going all over the place as you're driving. Because where are you driving with these most of the time? You'll be driving a lot of this stuff off-road. So this is a great invention. Okay, so the six I was talking about, you see you have three on this side, as far as the tie downs, and then three on this side. Now you're gonna notice over here that you have an outside shower. They consider this an outside shower anyway. You have a water pump switch here, and then this is your light switch for the outside the door that I showed you earlier. That light switch for when you're camping. So the cool thing with that, you're gonna have hot and cold water for your outside shower. Now on the opposite side, you're gonna have 110 outlet and a USB port. And then this is a light switch 
for underneath here, underneath for your cargo. So that way there while the while your bed is up, you've got plenty of light back here in the evening if the bed is up. So right in this location, what you're gonna have, this will be the controls for the bed. You're gonna actually have an actual thermostat for your heat. And so you can actually adjust it temperature-wise, which is gonna be an upgrade. This is gonna control your situ uh, both your heat and your, uh, it's gonna be your water heater as well as your furnace. So you have a fan, so you can circulate some air for the furnace. That's all controlled right there. Next, you're gonna have your ZAMP uh, charge controller here. This is for the, the panels up on top. You'll be able to see how much power you're using, how, how uh, fully charged your batteries are as well. Again, you have three AGM batteries. Over on here, this is where you'll be able to check your battery levels. That's for both for your house as well as the chassis and then of course you can check your tank and turn your water pump on. Now your water heater is twofold. You've got to be having this on as well as your water heater on here. And that'll control your water heater. Next to it here this is going to be for your inverter which is going to go ahead and run certain outlets so that way there you can have 110 power when you're not hooked up to a generator or shore power. Now your three switches here. This switch is going to be controlling the light underneath of your cabinet here, as well as the one for the kitchen. The next one, this one controls this one, so you have dim, off, or bright. And your next one here, this is going to control your light in the bathroom. Let me show you that. So in order to open your bathroom, you have to unlock your door up top here, and then it'll pull open. Now you could push this open and you can see how the door will fold out of its way. Now what they've done this year, which is kind of a nice addition, is they've put some shelving inside of the toilet shower area. So for those of you that are not using it, now you've got extra storage. So you got the shelving, plus you have the little hanger bar. Do not, do not mistake that bar for a chin up bar, ladies and gentlemen. You will be disappointed. So as you can see, now you have, when you take those shel the shelving out of there, now you've got a place where you can stand. And by the way, there is a curtain that goes ahead and snaps up in here to give you, um, to give you uh, protection to keep the water on the inside so it'll drain down the bottom there. So you see the toilet, if you want to use it, you turn it this way. You want to go ahead and use the shower or store it, you can just turn it sideways. So you have a little place for your uh, toilet paper. And then if you want to put maybe some uh, shampoo and toiletries in this little cabinet area here, you can. So you see you have your shower head, gives you both um, hot and cold water. And then you have your vent, which you're able to push that up and then turn it on. And you're able to vent things out of there. So this bar here, you can just take off by lifting it up and now it's out of your way. So you might ask, well, how is it just keeping uh, locked in place? What you have is you have a little latch at the bottom. You also have a latch at the top, and then you have the lock on the door for when you close it. So it threefold for that uh, bathroom door. So as you can see, you have a couple different places you can put that top rack there. So you put up a little bit higher you have two locations to set that. Now for the bed in the back, remember you're gonna control that right here. So we're gonna go ahead and just push the button and you can see how smooth it comes down. And you could stop it at any location. One thing else I forgot to show you, as you can see they have that system lined up there. So if you wanted to put something there, you can while it's up or while it's down. So, and then this is your bed. And this is about 77 inches in width because they have that little cut out there and it's four feet across. So that is the bed. As you can see, you have some 12 volt outlets up top here. So that way there while you're sleeping, if you need to plug something in, you can plug something in that. You also saw the 110 outlet that was off the back of the bed over there is you can always put something up, bring an extension cord or bring something over this way for you. 
lights right here you're able to just push their just push button so you're able to turn them on right at the light now as i'd mentioned this is a option to have this air conditioner back here i uh, chose to turn it on today to kind of give you an idea of how um, loud it was it's a lot quieter than it was last year um, and it's uh, more like a white noise if you'd ask me i could tolerate that pretty easily So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the 2020 Rebel. This is a 44E by Winnebago. For more information on this camp or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you do ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. You know, I, I try to do some really good reviews for you on different campers. If you would like to have some insight on how to use these campers, maybe when you're out boondocking and so forth, a couple channels you can look at. If you want to check out the roads we roam or another one if you want to check out travels by Delaney those are a couple other channels that might give you some better insight because they're actually out using them I don't use them quite the way that they use them I'm typically going to a campground uh, so they're out doing a lot of boondocking have a lot of experience doing that and could quite possibly help you. I'll have those links for those down below the video from the Ultramobility, the Roads We Roam, and Travels by Delaney. Have that links down below. And uh, again, I do appreciate you watching. If there's something in particular you'd like me to cover, you know, another uh, RV, a particular system, by all means, reach out to me and I'll see if I can make it happen for you. Thanks again, and I'll be back at you again soon.